Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 4th, 2022. Well, my goodness, this morning, guys, we wake up to a dangerous market, um, a dangerous open, and a more dangerous world. Unfortunately, um, the a kind of unhinged attack um, going on in the Ukraine, um, attacking a power plant, a nuclear power plant, um, creating some ripples and negative reactions in markets around the world. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I hope you're all having a good morning. Of course, we're waking up to a little bit of a somber um, morning this morning um, as Russia um, continues to um, expand its invasion into Ukraine, uh, seizing a nuclear power plant after initially shelling it. Um, kind of a um, an, an unhinged um, development over there. Um, you would... We all know that um, Vladimir Putin wants to take over the country, but I don't think anyone ever thought he would be willing to um, turn it into a wasteland in the process. But kind of an interesting development here overnight. The um, Asian markets saw some substantial selling. European markets are decidedly bearish this morning, and the U.S. markets are also looking for a little bit of downside move here. As this uncertainty continues to unfold. Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can glean some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, Thursday was another day of wild volatility and we saw these big point moves and a lot of emotional price action in here. The bulls continue to work really hard trying to defend lows, but unfortunately, um, as we approach or push into these resistance areas, those bears come back and they're pretty darn feisty. This morning with the developments over there in the Ukraine, we have a downside gap um, that we're looking at. So we're gonna wanna watch these areas right in here of price support. If those sellers or if those bears really push hard on this, then um, falling through these areas right in here could be pretty devastating for the market heading into the weekend. Now keep in mind, we continue to maintain this downtrend. We still have lots of up, um, up, uh, overhead resistance above, and our technicals in these charts are continuing to diminish or decline. As you can see, 50-day moving average just about right across down through that 200-day moving average here in the chart. Um, confirming that death cross. So um, pretty rough, um, pretty rough uh, technicals in the charts. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also showing um, a little bit of bearishness this morning, looking to maybe gap down. Um, we made an attempt in here yesterday to challenge that um, downtrend, but unfortunately those bears came back in pretty strongly by the end of the day. And um, we'll want to be watching these levels right in here this morning. If those bears can push down through here, um, our market becomes about as, uh, well, it, it could become rather chaotic. So we'll want to watch carefully uh, for that. These big point swings have been very, very challenging and um, really favors the, the experienced day traders. Swing and position traders really don't have much of an edge. It's really difficult to, to trust or hold anything overnight, um, particularly when you, you don't even know what's going to happen in the next 15 minutes, the way the market is reacting. So um, a lot of volatility here, a lot of danger. Now keep in mind our um, um, SPY is still showing up as one of the stronger indexes um, in the market. Um, although we are still below our 200 day and the 34 EMA crossing down through the 200 day, but at least we have a little bit of separation in here still between the 200 and the 50 day moving average, but that is starting to close pretty rapidly here as well. If we take a look at our NASDAQ, our NASDAQ struggled yesterday quite a little bit. 
we gapped up yesterday morning and trying to get going um, um, to the upside and we had a couple of surges up but doggone it we just couldn't make it through um, resistance levels here in the chart and um, ultimately um, left behind a bearish engulfing candle on the day so as you can see we have these resistance levels above that are holding pretty strongly we have that downtrend in play that we were challenging um, yesterday but those bears um, eventually won the day and we can see a little bit of bearishness coming into the market in the pre-market here this morning gap down and that possibility of actually failing this area right here um, at the open so remember QQQ if they really start pushing down hard here um, that could draw the rest of the markets lower as well and our technicals here in in the QQQ are pretty dismal with um, our 34 EMA um, continuing to drop very rapidly as you can see the 20 EMA is right in there on that price right just providing a, a lid to that price um, action and we can see the 50-day moving average has crossed down through the 200 so pretty bearish here on that chart it's gonna take some major major um, bullish effort here to push us up through those downtrends and I'm just not sure they're gonna have that kind of wherewithal today but I could be wrong let's take a look at um, IWM IWM also quite a bearish chart um, it has done better than um, the other indexes because I think we we're just in a kind of a really oversold condition there for a short period of time on um, the Russell but notice we're failing here um, at that resistance level failing at downtrend um, the question I think at this point is will this little area of support hold or will be will we be testing these lows down in here um, relatively soon and the possibility of a, of a triple test of that low we'll see lots of work needs to be done here in our technicals in this chart is just well they're pretty awful 50-day moving average average dropping down placing a lid on that Russell let's take a look at our VIX now VIX um, even though we had rallies yesterday the VIX really never um, pulled back much um, as a matter of fact throughout the day we continued to uh, push that VIX kind of hard it's just right at the end of the day we had a little bit of a surge come in and it, it lightened up on that VIX but as you can see we continue in this upside move one concern that I have guys is we we really are getting close to that potential area where we could start seeing institutions really un, unlever um, all of these volatility products now if we were to pop up through this area in here that's where that could start to begin which could create some pretty substantial selling if that were to happen I'm not suggesting that it will but we're going to want to watch those areas pretty closely if we start breaking into these upper areas that volatility could trigger some pretty substantial selling so holding in here about a 30 handle we continue to hold on to this upside trend in here um, we'll see how today plays out but I'm guessing we're going to spike up a little bit here in the morning with the bearishness that we see in the pre-market let's take a look at our um, T2122 now T2122 I, I still get a lot of questions on T2122 what's this all about um, T2122, um, first off, people ask me, um, can I find this someplace else? And I don't know. Um, about the only place that I know it's displayed in the charts is on uh, TC2000. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. But T2122 is simply the four week new high, new low ratio. And what it does is it really gives us a clear impression as to um, when the market is kind of overbought, when the market is oversold. And these are short term, um, short. this is a short term look, not a long term look at um, those moves. And you can see when we push up into here, we almost, well, very quickly, we find a way for those bears to come in and push us back down. And when we're down in these low areas, we we find pretty quickly a way to push the push it back up unfortunately what we've been experiencing in this market lately because of all the uncertainty is just whipsaws whipping up and down up and down up and down huge point moves up and down up and down in the market yesterday we tried um, to uh, push up just a little bit but eventually 
um, those bears kind of um, came back in and, and did their job um, uh, pushing this back down. Now this morning with a gap down this morning we want to watch this closely because we have a pretty big um, opening to the downside. If those bears were to really engage uh, they've got a lot of long ways before we reach that bullish reversal zone down here in T2122. However we do have that possibility that the, the employment situation number coming out this morning could provide some inspiration or if there's new developments that show that the conflict over there is easing or something along those lines those bulls could engage and we have that upside opportunity here in the chart so um, no real clear evidence of which way we'll go today but certainly um, with the pressures that we're seeing right now in um, futures kind of kind of favors the downside at least at the moment let's take a look at uh, t21 whoops one of these days i'll learn how to type um, t2108 now yesterday was very very interesting in the fact that while we were seeing uh, these big swings in the market we held up relatively well here in our t2108 and that gives us just that little bit of hope that the bulls are stiffening up here and willing to fight a little bit harder um, so we're still holding in that downtrend and we still have substantial price resistance up in this area but notice in here yesterday we actually had more advancers here than decliners on those stocks above the 40-day moving average so 38% of the stocks holding in there now overall big downtrend um, not exactly bullish but at least there is that little bit of hope that those bulls are getting a little stronger and then on our t2107 um, pretty much the same thing. You can see T2107 kind of ended the day about flat, about 33% of the stocks um, uh, pushing above or holding above their 200 day moving average. But you can also see we have pretty significant levels of resistance and this massive downtrend that still has yet to be breached. So while that is giving us just a little bit of hope, um, not exactly bullish um, overall uh, in the market. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 bounced around in here quite a bit yesterday, but we're down here in these low areas of the market, which kind of are low areas of T2101, which gives us that impression that we could have a big move. Um, um, up or down, and there's just no way to know exactly which here. Um, um, T2101 seems as confused and uncertainty and certain as the rest of the market. So watch that carefully and closely. It's hard to know where this is going to take us, but certainly I do think there is the possibility of a pretty substantial move one, one way or another. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And what I was referring to earlier on that economic calendar is this employment situation number. Now, Consensus estimates suggest that this number will come in strong with a good amount of jobs growth and um, a pretty substantial increase in wage growth is what they are suggesting in, um, in the consensus on this. So if that comes in, you know, typically we would see good jobs growth and good wage increases as a very, very bullish thing. The problem that we have with that is we are entering a tightening cycle with the FOMC. If this number comes in hot or ho hotter than expected, then we could have that you know bit of a whammy here because that really um, it allows the Fed to aggressively raise rates, which is really at the worst possible time in the market. But if that number comes in as expected, if it comes in a little bit less than expected, it's hard to know how the market might react to that. Um, so keep a close eye on that number this morning. We also have a Fed speaker out here today. Um, I doubt that we learn any more from that. But after we get past this pre-market um, data um, and the volatility around that, I think what everyone will be focused on is the uncertainty of the weekend, this Ukrainian um, attack and um, 
the uncertainty of what might happen over the weekend. So kind of keep an eye um, there. And then on the earnings calendar, we have a much lighter day today. Um, less than 25 companies listed on the calendar and a, and a large number of those 25 are unconfirmed reports. So if you um, want to go back and take a look at the blog, click that link just below the title of the video. But there's only three stocks that I could really come up with it have some notability take a look um, HIBB um, will be reporting this morning it looks like they're looking um, down here at the moment in the pre-market and I don't know if that is a result of their report or if they're just reacting negatively to the market conditions but watch that carefully um, INTT um, another one reporting today looks like we got a little pop and drop going on that one um, here so I would suggest that would really suggest that that report is already out and um, might be struggling here just a little bit in the pre-market after um, after those numbers came out. And last but not least, um, RPID um, will also be reporting today. So keep a close eye on that. Everything else that's reporting is very, very small cap um, and unlikely to be particularly notable unless you happen to own one of them um, but um, kind of a quiet day here on that earnings calendar let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up guys but before we do that if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and also I know it kind of becomes monotonous and that kind of thing but if you can continue to help me out by clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving the brief comments I truly appreciate it I truly truly appreciate it um, 26,500 subscribers as of this morning thank you so much guys you are truly truly awesome and if you continue to share these videos out on your social media feed it helps the channel to continue to grow so thank you very very much let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and I got to tell you guys you're gonna have to be pretty careful today because if we really trip that volatility um, and I don't know when we'll trip it but if we were to trip that volatility um, threshold and institutions really start to deleverage we um, everything can be drawn into the selling um, when something like that occurs so make sure sure you're very very careful make sure if you take a trade you plan it very carefully you have a stop and you should never ever trade someone else's trade ideas remember these are just suggestions for you to take a look at put on a watch list and evaluate them for yourself make sure you're following your rules your guidelines in your trading let's take a look at a couple trades in here I will, um, one of the members of right way options brought this up yesterday and it was a really beautiful chart earlier on in the day um, and that selling kind of picked up in here but notice right in here we have um, SQ we have I placed a price alert on this chart but uh, never triggered uh, push down and this may fail but you can see this chart in here this is that pattern that could be developing that I really like and that's where we break the downtrend we try to put in that higher low and see if we can punch through that 50-day moving average for the rounded bottom breakout but so far uh, not so good here watch this one closely but this is one I'd want to keep on a list it could be developing nicely so keep uh, keep a close eye on that um, other than that guys I think you're really gonna have to go to the energy sector energy just continues to be really really strong just about anything in there um, could be a potential buy oil gas um, also exploration um, oil gas and exploration are very very strong um, um, here in the market and continue to be so and I think as long as this Ukrainian um, war goes on um, and Russia continues to encroach uh, further and further into the into the country I think that just uh, puts more and more pressure on these energy stocks and commodity prices and unfortunately guys um, commodities um, commodities are well energy food and um, and rents 
are three of the big calculations for inflation. And I got to tell you, two out of the three, at least, are running hot to the upside. Um, and that would suggest the Fed is going to be really under the gun here to uh, try and, and attack that in in a time where the market is pretty sensitive to anything so just watch that closely now energy is really strong also take a look at anything in um, the commodity um, agricultural area food prices are running up like crazy and you can see the cost here um, just spiking and one of the reasons we're spiking so much is oil is is very essential to fertilizers and and uh, obviously planting and harvesting of crops and what we're seeing is those prices are just soaring um, here in the country and as uh, fuel prices continue to rise um, they continue to go up as well so keep an eye on that now there are some defensive se sector names out there that may be of interest to you take a look at coca-cola it's continuing to hang in there this is just one of those consumer defensive stocks kind of one of those staples in the market um, and it's holding in take a look at like KHC KHC looking pretty good here um, on that chart perking up food um, is one of those um, very important areas for us and um, that shows a lot of strength um, Hershey um, holding in there um, SJM so coming back up so we're seeing some of these defensive sector stocks um, do pretty well um, in this um, crazy market environment you could also look to stocks like Altria now please keep in mind guys I have a bias on this I am holding this trade um, but um, Altria has been holding up quite well um, in the market as well and then um, um, also some areas in healthcare. Um, if you take a look at uh, like MKC, um, whoops, MCK, MCK, um, Mickelson, um, healthcare, some of those areas in healthcare are being really, really strong. This is a very, very bullish chart. Um, those are continuing to move up. And then last but not least, anything in the metals area. Take a look at Alcoa holding up very, very strong. Um, copper in FCX, copper miner here. Now they also pick up some gold as well um, in Freeport, but um, very, very strong here um, in copper steel is just running really strong. Um, US Steel, um, STLD, really really strong now i wouldn't want to chase these at this point they're very very extended but we can certainly see that metals mining um, um, any of the miners like uh, newmont um, berry gold um, showing lots and lots of strength and you can even move over right into the precious metals uh, gld and slv all showing strength with this uncertainty that we show in the market so there are some long trades to trade but I want to caution everyone that if you are going to trade it would be a really good idea to have a balance of trades maybe look for some long some short um, in the market take a look at a stock like uh, Disney Disney failing here at a downtrend possible shorting pattern take a look at stocks like uh, Boeing Boeing um, made a uh, quite an effort to rally into this downtrend and you can see failing in May um, break down below this support so there's going to be a lot of those kind of stocks out there so make sure you have a little bit of a mix uh, to offset the volatility um, here in the market some so watch that closely but honestly guys um, just remember that cash is a position um, and cash being in cash is often a underutilized position when the market is this volatile if you don't feel like you have an edge then um, protect that capital do your best job to to protect that one of the one of the great responsibilities of being a trader is to manage that account and that is pr protecting that the that capital so that you can live to fight another day when the markets are like this i'm um, standing aside may be the best decision so remember cash is a position and with the uncertainty as we head into the weekend it could possibly be could possibly be your best 
um, position. So think about that carefully with all of this, these wild gyrations and volatility in the market. Uh, buy the dip buyers continue to get punished over and over and over again. You don't want to be the first one through the door because you may run straight into a bear attack. So uh, be very, very careful. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all of the best. Keep those uh, Ukraine folks in your thoughts and prayers because obviously what they're dealing with um, is far more, far more painful than what we're dealing with here in the market. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all the best.